We are on season 13 of the Looney Bros. Now this is John Looney. You guys have met John Looney, but I just want to give you a little background on how I first met John Looney, right? Oh, so yeah. when I when I first started this company, exactly uh, 13, 14 months ago, we came in hot, right? You remember me and my boy oh, yeah. Sharky? No, and we were at the yeah, top yeah, of the leaderboard yeah. and you were right there, oh, yeah. uh, like fifth place, which you're used to being first place, right? <laughs> and uh, they were like, dude, John McKay, you can't let these guys come in and, and beat you like that, right? Oh, yeah. uh, these guys are making you look like amateurs, right? And I was feeling pretty good when that guy said that, right? Oh, yeah. And guys, I got humbled real quick by John. John, you've absolutely crushed it this year, bro. You've led from the front. Bro, how excited are you to knock with the Looney Bros? And what's your, what's your message to Looney Nation as we wrap up the year? Man, I'm really pumped up, man. Will has done some amazing things and bringing a ton of excitement over here at Lumio. Lumi Bros are just changing the game. Everybody's watching them, everybody's seeing them. They're probably the most famous group and the most famous so, uh, sales team in the solar industry and probably all the door-to-door -door industry all put together. It's December, believe it or not. It's like a week away from Christmas wearing short sleeve shirts. But hey, it's, that's Texas for you. What we're gonna do right here, we're gonna knock some doors, have some fun, that's what we do. Not taking any breaks. There's no such thing as off season if you're doing this stuff for real. This is a lifestyle. We already have pretty much two guaranteed deals on this street. So we're gonna go ahead and knock the neighborhood. On this street right here, we wanna make sure that these neighbors know us. Kind of like the mailman, you know, how you always wave at the mailman, you know exactly who he is, what time he comes. It's kind of how you wanna be whenever you're knocking the neighborhood if you wanna be high level. Rule number one, work hard. Rule number two, have fun. And rule number three, have fun, right? So we're gonna have go have fun. some fun yeah. right now. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited to go learn some word tracks, bro. So let's go knock our first door. How do you like your solar system? Excuse me, ma'am. 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 How do you like your solar system? Whenever you're knocking a neighborhood, your pitch gotta change. I already know Elizabeth next door signed up for solar, so I'm gonna see if she knows Elizabeth because Elizabeth's gonna be getting installed next week. So I'm gonna kind of be just letting her know, seeing if any of my guys already stopped by, and if they did, if she signed up also. I always stand kind of back, I'm a guy. And you know, you gotta understand, like even right, right it's four o'clock, like it's seven, I'm gonna be right up on the door. So whenever people look through the peephole, it's gonna be night. I want them to be able to see me. At nighttime, whenever I knock on the door, and like sometimes the husband isn't home yet, I kind of want to be a little bit on a def like a defenseless, you know, distance, a defenseless, like you know, body language, because I do want the wife to, to uh, be able to open the door and be able to deliver my message and hopefully get an appointment. I don't knock with an iPad either, because, uh, man, the iPad's kind of heavy. <laughs> that's John's first bit of advice there, is when you knock, just make it look like you didn't even knock, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, exactly. one, that's one nugget. So you don't get too nervous. Boss man, I love the holiday season, sir. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm John. No speak English? Tu hablas español? Mi español es muy feo. John, nice to meet you. Do you, uh, Elizabeth, to a neighbor, uh, two doors down? Well, she's getting her solar panels. Mañana is still installed. Uh, do, did you already get your solar panels um, signed up? You're getting solar too? A lot of things that I do too, whenever I knock on the door, if I see the doorbell camera, I fill up the house with compliments. Man, that was really, really nice. Cause you know what, if they're not home, they're gonna listen to that, who came by? Mm. And if they hear that, then you knock. They say, hello? They already heard the compliment. Yeah. So then they're a little bit less defensive. Me, uh, me uh, happy my Mexicano? But no, está, no hablas español. Muy feo. ¿Tú hablas inglés? Nada. ¿Por qué? Your Spanish is a, is a little faster. Where are you from, Cuba? Hey, I love it, man. That's awesome. Your neighbor two doors down. We're just out here just uh, making sure we check on the neighbors because it, I think on Friday, she, uh, Elizabeth, two doors down from you, mm -hmm. she's going to be getting her solar panels installed. What I can do, I can come by and look at your electric bill and maybe help you out. Uh, no, nothing. No, no. No, I, I can come and help it. Maybe for nothing. Yes. I did I did your neighbor over here, mm -hmm. Stephanie, mm -hmm. in the front, Kevin, the black family with the stop sign. Mm -hmm. I did them all and they love it. I'm one of the top solar guys in the country. That's why we got a camera with us. So your, your neighbor, Elizabeth, she's getting them with us. You know, we're, 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 we're doing a whole bunch and I'm checking the neighborhood, see who already had it. And I'm seeing a lot of people didn't have a good experience. Maybe I can come by later and see what I could do to help. No, not trying to sell you no solar, but see if I can help. And if I can't, I can't, but maybe I help. You know, you, you had a bad experience, but you can change your experience and maybe I could take a look, you know what I mean? Well, hey man, I'll come back and see if I can okay, help, okay? Maybe I'll save you more money, if no no sell you nothing, okay? No, no good, my friend. Yeah, those guys had a bad experience and so a little tip on that is like, so when you knock on a door, sometimes you don't see if it had solar or not, right? He had solar, you saw how it transitioned real quick into saying, hey, like you guys didn't have a good experience. Like, you know, solar is kind of like that. You have a bunch of guys jumping in the industry, a bunch of guys that don't know what they're talking about and they're just slapping panels on getting commission. When you have a professional come in, hey man, I see you're having a bad experience. Let me take a look at it. It. A lot of times you don't know, like for instance, like my 6.30 appointment today is an add-on from someone else that sold them solar. They want more panels. So sometimes when you see people that already have solar panels, if 
find out who went with them, now you know all three of them went with that people with those guys. So when you talk to another homeowner, hey, we're not we're not that company. We're this company. We heard a lot of people had a lot of bad misinformation. I'm here to give you new information. Now the pitch is going to change because now I know all the data for this whole street. When you're looking at the hood, man, and like scoping, like what doors you want to hit, what are you looking for? The cars in the driveway. I don't really look at the the ground with the dirt marks because if I'm already that close to see it, I'm gonna just touch the door. Like a lot of people always say, oh, look and see if that skid marks. Like if you're already that close to see the skid marks, man, knock the door. What you doing in your car? You're not making money over there. And thinking about the skid marks, what the f skid marks supposed to mean? When you're newer and you're a setter, you don't want to give all that information so fast. When you start closing your own deals, you know what kind of to ditch out at the door. The pitch gets a little bit more exotic and, and fun. Man, I got 2,500 bucks in my pocket with your name on it. Well, not yet, but if- Bro, I drive trucks, I'll make money. I'm okay. You make enough money? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. 2,500 bucks more would be good though. One thing I'm noticing is that you just got so many different tools in your toolbox, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like the biggest thing is like you're having fun with people, but then just like, hey, I got 2,500 bucks with your name on it right now. It's nuggets. Cause like, yeah, like he said that he already didn't qualify, but I'm not, the, the, he, know, he has a network I don't have. And so maybe if he doesn't fit the description of getting solar, who do you know? Hey, you know all your neighbors out here, man? This is before Christmas, our company, you know, we're giving out 2,500 bucks. Uh, Boss man, what's going on, sir? You, you, left your, you, left your, you left your pistol on the door right here, man. The hot glue gun. You know when it wants to get shot with that bad boy right there. What's going on, man? I'm John. Your neighbor across the street, Elizabeth, I'm not too sure if you know her. She's like five foot female. She's getting her solar panels installed Friday. Are you home by chance? Yeah. Oh, my bad, my bad. I know I know exactly how that could be. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be talking to Elizabeth, get, setting her up in about 45 minutes. Can I pop back by in about an hour and just show you what I'm showing her to save her money? Biggest sales tip, man, is just like, honestly, transfer energy. Don't worry too much about your script, your approach. You know what you're gonna say, but whenever you're yourself, it ends up coming out a lot better and a lot more fun. And the homeowners, whenever you're just meeting a stranger, Sometimes it's not about what you say. You think about it like this, you watch all these movies where like they bump heads and they're romantic, they don't even know what they're saying. They always get the date. So the same kind of scenario, when the door opens up, make it organic, make it fun. Cause like if you kind of chuckle, laugh, they're kind of like, what the heck is this guy doing? And that buys you time of interest. You know, if you're just like, hey, what's going on? Five star reviews, my name's John, look at my glasses, I see really good. I'm putting solar panels. You're gonna get a no, cause you're a robot. So just be yourself. What keeps you motivated to keep going, man? After being in the industry for two, three years here, um, after already making, you know, uh, what everybody in the industry strives to make, what motivates you to keep going? Man, whenever I get more guys in the company that join, that see the dream, it brings me back to like when I first started and that expectation that they want to see me knocking, want to see me working, see me trying, see me fail. Um, keeps me motivated and also like I'm 28 I still have the energy to work 12 hours a day if I use my youth now later I won't have to so I love shooting the shit on the doors man I mean when you can make X amount of dollars you know in X amount of time like shoot man what else do we got going on I, there's nobody want to I don't want to hang out with nobody right now this is the funnest thing to do right now freaking it's like speed dating but you could get paid Hello. boss man sorry to, sorry sorry to bother you man about two doors down over here on the corner on Friday I'm installing the, the, your neighbor with the solar panels on Friday we'll we're doing for Christmas, man. If we get one more person, or even two, it'd be even better to, you know, get, get set up with the solar. Has anyone talked to you about it yet? If you did decide to say yes, we're giving 2,500 bucks to the next person that says yes. If I come back and you decide to still say no, no harm, no foul, but you might be able to save some money and get 2,500 bucks for Christmas. That's got a comma in it, man. It's big dollars, man. You guys have a good one, okay? Enjoy them taquitos, tacos, Fritos, whatever it is with chicken. Hey, you see how John's just having fun, guys, right? Like we said it, rule number one, have fun. Rule number two, work hard. Rule number three, have fun. If you look at the neighborhood and you drive into it, corner houses always have solar. Yeah. Reason why is because you could say, hey, you're going to be the model home. Your home, you know, blah, blah, blah. Everyone's going to see it. Oh, shoot, man. I need a haircut like that. <laughs> Nah, man, I'm John. I'm, I'm the region over here at Lumio. Across the street, right here in the two-story house, Miss Elizabeth, on Friday, we're installing her with the panels. Not trying to get you the panels, but we're gonna have our trucks outside. Didn't know if you guys parked right here. Don't want to block you guys in. Do you guys kind of park in, in the driveway or on the street? On the driveway? Okay, cool. So we won't be blocking you in. Now, did my guys already come by and talk to you and tell you about the Christmas program? Because you guys do live close to the corner. You guys qualify for a little bit cooler stuff than anyone else. It's a scam, man. <laughs> so, how much are you paying for electricity? Uh, it's, it's up there, you know. I mean, I got a big two-story house. It's not going to be like 99 bucks a month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're going to pay a little bit. Yeah. But um, T-Vec, I think, is a scam because you can't pick another company. Like, right, right. We, it's a co-op. We live in America, right? Like we're like we like to feel like we have choices. Yeah. Like if you don't like Forney, you go to Heartland. If you don't like McDonald's, you go to Chick Fil A. Hey, do you guys need help with the groceries? No, we okay. Thank you. You sure? 
You got, I got, you got you a good looking strong man outside your front door now. I'm telling you, this don't happen every day. Christmas ain't yet, okay? I'm John Looney. Nice to meet you guys. How you guys doing? Your sunglasses match your shirt. You got it going on. Elizabeth with the black SUV yeah. at uh, five o'clock. I'm gonna go set her up as well. She scheduled an appointment with me, so I saw that I've already installed like 15 people on the street, but there's some people I haven't. And so just just checking out, talking, communicating, having a blast out here, you know, spreading some love. How much more groceries you guys got? I can at least pull it out the bag, do a good deed for you guys. I'm, I'm, I need one more good deed of the day. Have you guys gotten talked to about getting some solar panels? Did you guys know it doesn't cost anything? Yeah, we talked to someone. Who's the guy? What's his name? You don't even remember. But you're gonna you're gonna remember a good looking strong man outside your front door. My name's John, by the way. What was yours? Flores. Flores? Yes. Nice to meet you. Beautiful name. Now I promise you, if I get five, ten minutes to talk to you, you're gonna remember my name. Even if you don't get it, how much you guys paying on electricity right now? Fifty one fifty. Holy crap. <laughs> Why are you getting scammed 150? What if I told you this? Elizabeth, she, she's paying a little bit more, like 165 but I dropped her down to zero on electricity. Her solar now is 125, mm -hmm. saving 50 bucks. And in March, she's gonna get a tax credit of about 9,000 bucks. And because she got it before Christmas, our company gives every family in December, kind of like 25 days of Christmas. You ever seen that on NBC? How they play the Christmas movies? Mm -hmm. Well, 25 days of Christmas, what our company does is we give every family a thousand bucks for Christmas for the presents. What do you guys got going on in about 45 minutes? Who calls the shots? You're the boss. In my house, my wife's the boss. I don't even have a wife. She's my girlfriend, but she's the boss. <laughs> Are you the boss? No. You look like the boss. Okay, so how about I talk to you? Because whatever my girl says to me, I got to say yes. So I'm going to talk to you first, and then I'm going to meet up with him second. Okay? Okay. So what time can I talk to you? Only for 30 minutes, and then I'll leave. You don't have to do anything, and then I'll meet up with him. What if you give me your number? Hang on. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. You're not going to call me. I'm not going to call you either. I'm going to come here. I'm... I'm you see how personable I am? We're not gonna call, that's old school. Now listen, I don't care if you get solar or not, but I'm gonna make you feel good. You're gonna remember my name. So when someone knocks on your door again, you're gonna be like, nah, 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 nah. If I went, I'm going with John, right? I know the whole family, I better come back tomorrow. Hey, right here, high five. You gonna miss out, don't miss out. Bam, see you guys tomorrow. Take notes, guys. If sales are a transfer of energy. You want to inject and affect them with your enthusiasm so they don't eject and reject you, right? Exactly. They love that. Oh, garage door, here we go. That was cool. <laughs> I feel like I was moving the garage door with, with my energy. It was crazy. It's John, man. Hello. Nice to meet you, boss. I feel like I've seen you before somewhere. Not here, but somewhere. What do you, what do you work at? CVS? You like a manager over there? Sweet. D you don't even know what you guys qualify for by you working at CVS and you living on this street, do you? What's your schedule tomorrow, man? What time are you off? Like around 6? Here, I'm going to be in the neighborhood at 10. I'll come by around no lunchtime-ish. I'll even bring you lunch. How's, how's like 12, 1230? I'll, I'll text you. I'll text you. But I'm already going to be here, so if I just stop by and you're here, it'd be quite a coincidence. I'll get you set up, man. You seem like a good guy. I'm going to give you a good deal. I want to ask this guy if I could take a picture. What's up, big dog? I've always wanted to sit inside of an Amazon or a UPS truck. Let me, let me see what's up, man. Badass, right? <laughs> Heck yeah. How you doing, ma'am? I just uh, I just retired from my UPS job. <laughs> I'm John. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got nervous. <laughs> I'm John, by the way. Hey. He took my job. <laughs> There's a, there's a referral check I'm supposed to give for 500 bucks to one of these neighbors, I, I did, but it doesn't say who the address was. How come you don't have solar in your house? Go, 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 half dog, half reindeer. You gotta make time fly, man, because if you're just out here doing door to door to door, when you go in the office the next day, you're, you're gonna say, oh, I knocked 89 doors. I don't even know how many we did. Doesn't matter unless I get a deal. I'm only out here for a deal. I'm not counting doors. All right, guys, so John and I are about to walk at home right now. We're gonna just post a little bit of this in here. Sun's going down. I know that I have the deal in the bag just because, you know, I can hear the confidence in the customer. Customer, and because I'm extremely confident, I'm gonna go through the home, earn trust, and I'm going straight to the back door. I'm going straight to the back of the house taking pictures. I'm gonna already premeditate that they're getting the solar panels installed. Then I'm gonna come back inside and say, wow, you have the perfect roof for solar. Let's go ahead and get you get you guys qualified. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Dun, dun, dun. What's really sweet over here at Lumio is that is our freedom. As I'd like to say, in America, we like to believe we have freedom. Well, at Lumio, we do. And one thing that I'd like in particular is that we could do our own site surveys. And doing your own site survey speeds up so much of the process because after, let's say if, if I was with some other, some other company, close a deal, submit it, there would be a message going to a portal to send someone else out here. He has to check his schedule, see when it's okay with them for him to come out here and take these pictures. And it just prolongs the process. But by me just knocking out these pictures, I don't even have the document signed. I'm taking these pictures. I'm getting stuff locked and loaded this will be on the roof next week we'll go ahead and go inside now what I saw body language wise is she wasn't really like engaging with me when I walked in so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say hey come over here real quick 
get, 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 get us rocking and rolling, get her a little bit more engaged. She seemed a little bit intimidated. We do our installations a certain way. That's why we're able to do the roof warranty, roof penetrations. If any leaks or anything, right, that's what I was gonna ask. we're gonna warrant that as well, unlimited claims. So if it happens in a month, which it won't, but if it happens in a month, if it happens in seven years, mm -hmm. we're gonna be able to take care of that for you okay. um, because we seal it from the outside in and the inside out. In that legal document where it's very easy to understand, it's not one of those like car right. loan documents where it's like mm -hmm. Spanish and Chinese, like in words. This yeah. is like easy English. I don't read, but I can read that really good. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Our company is really freaking good at when customers have an issue that we solve the issue. We even have a couple Karens that we've sold to that complain about nothing okay. and we fix the nothing complaint. They're hell proof, ballistic glass on top. You ever seen oh. the Chase Bank? You ever try to knock on it and break your knuckles? Oh, okay. Same thing with the panels. If Santa wrong. Claus comes in two weeks and breaks your panel, we're gonna replace it. Pretty much, I mean, like, when I get to the end of it, people are like, well, it sounds too good to be true. Well, two years ago, whenever we first started doing solar, they weren't made with that type of glass. You know, the warranties didn't last this long but we became objection proof because we saw the trials and tribulations of what we need to do in order to make it objection proof. Mm -hmm. What do we need to make it seamless? You're getting three months free too. Right, right, I, I did remember that. What's your last four? Yeah, so 147 and 11 cents is all you'll, you'll be seeing. Okay. The sun produces power. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you don't pay, you don't play. Right. You own this shit now. I got like this. Mm -hmm. Boom. Going in, we thought it was gonna be a lot faster, um, but as we saw, you know, um, customer of course had a day to kind of ponder on it, and that's what you have to expect. So when you're setting appointments too, the same way how she was pondering on it is the same way they do whenever you don't get a same day appointment. That's how it, urgency is key. So by us coming here a little early, and also, you know, putting our foot down and everything like that is the reason why we got the deal. Now somebody a little softer with a softer approach might have not have got that with those tough questions mm -hmm. like that. So being confident with the response and the objections and the kind of the concerns and fears um, was the reason why we were able to lock down that deal. This is uh, season 13. We're on our bamboo blitz in a season of unusual acceleration. So it was awesome to get to learn from you, bro. And uh, we're going to keep showing up consistently Let's every go. single month next year, 2023. Yep. Jordan year is going to be the best year of our life. So guys, you can either win with us or you can watch us win, right? Everybody's got a choice. You can win with us yep. or you can watch us win. IT, that was killer.